Hello friends and welcome back for another Brutus Monroe video. This is Cassie. Today we're going to be making a slimline card with a matching envelope. So let's talk about what we're going to be using. This stamp set is called Fishbowl. We're also going to be using the Sea Skin Slimline Stencil. Is that not super cool? We have a slimline envelope and we also have some paper cut down and then we have our Perfect Blend Alcohol Marker cardstock that we're going to be using. And then this stuff, this metallic chroma glaze, which if you have not tried or seen, you will, and you're going to love it. Okay, so I have some cardstock cut down. I have this to three and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and I'm going to start by doing a little ink blending. I've got my blender brush and some minty fresh uh, ink that's by Simon Hurley, and that is in the Brutus Monroe store. And I'm just going to put a light wash of this minty fresh all over that background. This is has got to be one of my absolute favorite colors uh, in that line. I just love it, and as you can tell, I definitely use this ink pad a lot, so I will <laughs> I'll definitely have to be refilling that very soon. Next, I'm going to grab out this stencil, and I'm going to use a little bit of purple tape to hold down my cardstock onto my waffle flower media mat, along with um, holding down the stencil. So I'll just tear that in half and kind of tack that down. It doesn't do the best job of holding it down. If I really wanted that to stay with, you know, not going anywhere, uh, pixie dust would actually be the best option but I just decided this was good enough. So I'll grab out some Tropical Tango and I'm gonna do the same thing, just kind of ink blend across that. I'm only gonna go halfway up with my Tropical Tango. These two colors just go together so beautifully. I will clean off my brush just a little bit. I'll try to do the best I can uh, with that using a microfiber cloth and then I'm gonna pull in some Triple Berry ink because I wanna ink blend that on the top. And these two, or these two colors together, they meet in the middle and just, it, yeah, it looks really, really good. So um, just that color combo together is really nice. So I'll blend that down. It doesn't need to be a perfect blend because we're going to do something else with this background. This is where the metallic chroma glaze in opal is going to come in. And it looks white, you know, it looks like glue. But uh, trust me, this stuff is amazing. We're going to just spread that across with a palette knife. Uh, you have lots of options with spreading. You could do it with something like this or maybe a um, stencil buddy or something like that. But this worked out fine. I'm just trying really hard not to squish it underneath the stencil because I didn't use any pixie spray. And then I'll take this off to the sink and clean that up and set that off to the side to dry. Next I'll tack down my envelope and after I've cleaned off my stencil we're going to do a little bit of decorating on the stencil. So I'm going to hold this down with some more purple tape. If I had been thinking, I would have probably masked off the edge because I do go a little bit further. Um, but I'm putting down that wash of Minty Fresh one more time just with some blender brushes. At this point, I had already cleaned up my big blender brush and put it away so it was a little bit wet and I couldn't pull that out. You know, hindsight, 2020. And then I'll tack down my stencil again and we'll pull out those same colors that we did before, which was the Tropical Tango for the bottom. Just blend that on there pretty nicely and evenly, and then we'll come in with some more triple berry at the top and blend that down just like we did on our card panel. And then when I pull the stencil away, I'll see that I got some stenciling on the other edge of that stencil. So this is where I was like, you know, I could make that go a little bit further because this stencil is nice in the fact that it lines up very, very well. So all I'm going to do is just be real light and I'm not going to go to the edge again. Uh, just so that way it kind of drags out and, and disappears if that makes any sense. Now I do have a little bit, you know, where that edge of the stencil is. You can see it. So I try to fix it a little bit with my, my brush and then I decide to stick the stencil over the top of it because like I said, everything lines up really nicely. So we'll just stick that stencil over the top and we'll blend it a little bit better, but it isn't perfect and that's okay. It, you know, this is the envelope. Chances are it's going to get torn into anyway, so I'm not going to not going to stress. As a friend of mine says, there is no stress in stamping. <laughs> so we'll just blend that out the best we can and move on with our lives. All right, I think that does look pretty decent. So we'll set that off to the side, and now we're going to stamp our images. Again, this comes from the fishbowl stamp set. So I'm just going to stamp all of my images from that fishbowl stamp stamp set using some Raven Detail ink because this is Copic friendly or alcohol marker friendly and I'm doing it on the alcohol marker cardstock. So perfect combo. This stuff works great. I will say with the uh, cardstock and the ink you definitely want to just kind of heat set that a little bit or set it off to the side to dry for a few minutes 
because that ink will just kind of stay damp for just a little bit. I'm coming in with my first color, which is the YR04, and these little images are so fun to color. I don't know what it is. I, I think it's their little expressions because their eyes are just so cute and bold, and then that shark looks so menacing. Um, I don't know. I just think this stamp set is adorable, and this has so many images. Typically, I'll try to use all the images in a set, but this one had so many, I didn't even use them all. Um, I used probably about half of them, but it has lots of little detailed images. It has a giant whale that I didn't use. You could just go crazy um, stamping all these out, coloring these. This is one of those stamp sets where I would say, you know, stamp it out. You could sit and watch TV, color while you're watching, and then you come back and you have a bunch of different images that you can put onto several different cards. And, you know, it, you were watching TV or doing something else anyway, so it didn't take up any time. It's just something to keep your hands busy, which believe me, I need to do because otherwise I'll grab a bowl of chips and I will sit there with <laughs> and eat chips while I'm watching TV, which <sighs> that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But all right, we're just bringing in mostly two color blends. I think that's really actually all I do are two color blends. And in some cases, I don't use two color blends at all. Just use one color. Uh, these images are fairly small, in a, and some of them are. So you wouldn't have to go too crazy with your ink blending if you didn't want to, or if that's something you're just not super comfortable with yet. Um, but these are also really great to work on your blending because they are small. So, um, you know, this, you can start out kind of, light and easy light easy breezy just go with two colors and see how those blend and as you get better you can pull in a third color as if you want to so like I said with most of these I'm just doing two colors um, and I'm trying to do my best to put them up on the screen sometimes I get going and they aren't on the screen but that's because I'm kind of in just create mode I got music in the background I'm jamming you know and I'm coloring like this one which is R27 for our little crab in his adorable eyes and amazing expression <laughs> and then I also will bring in a um, I think it's R59 is our darker shade for him then we have some V15 for our jellyfish and that's another fun thing about all these different uh, sea creatures is that you can just go crazy with colors you know pick all kinds of fun bright colors and you'll have this amazing fun background that you know that you've colored up with all these colors I'll blend that out and then yes, I will fussy cut all of those out. And take a look at this, oh my gosh. So Christopher, if you are watching, I'm gonna need a vat of that metallic chrome glaze in opal. It is just incredible. I mean, if that does not get you excited about stamping, I don't know what will. It, I mean, it's clear when it dries, but then you just hits that shimmer and it makes my heart go pitter patter. So there it is, yeah, love it, love, love, love it. So get yourself some of that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to trim down my edges just a little bit and then I will get my card base ready which is some of your Not Your Mama's Heavyweight cardstock that I have scored at three and a half inches. So this was a originally cut to seven inches by eight and a half inches and then like I said scored at three and a half. That's just how I typically make my slim line. You can do yours to match whatever envelopes you have. All right, now we're going to stamp our sentiment. I've grabbed out my basic staple for thank yous in the Bruce Monroe line, which is the Tree of Thanks. I just love this stamp set because it has so many different fonts of thank you, and, you know, it's great. So I'll trim that down, and I typically leave mine a little bit longer than whatever my card base is because I have found that I will not cut it straight or centered, and then when I try to put it on my card, it just looks silly. So I'll leave that a little bit longer, center that up using my glass mat, and then I'll start adhering all of my little pieces with some liquid glue down to the front of my card panel. And that background is just so fun. And I love how the orange pops on it and all the different colors that we've, we've got here going on. It just looks like a very fun little ocean scene. And um, I would love to make a bunch more of these because that's that slimline stencil, which I love that they have a line of slimline stencils because slimline is just so in right now. And if you've visited my channel at all, uh, you know that I am into some slimline. So I'll just keep adhering these down. And if you are wondering why I flipped that background so that the scales are kind of pointing up, I just really wanted that purple on the bottom. And so I don't feel like that takes away from anything. I'm kind of happy with the way that looks. You can flip it either way. I know that scales, I guess, would probably typically be down, but you know, whatever. You do you. It's your card. So now I'll trim off that excess now that everything is 
fairly dry, or at least the sentiment is. And I've got a few leftover pieces, which is why I typically do so many, so that I have a few that I can shove on the inside of my card. And so I'll just make a little scene in there too. I don't have a sentiment that I'm going to put in there, but I am going to, you know, put all these little guys in there. It doesn't make for a full scene, especially since there's so much real estate inside of a slimline card. But we've got enough to keep the eye happy, and we still have plenty of room to write a little note to our recipient, which is perfect. So I'll just keep adhering all those little guys down. I don't know what it is about starfish with faces, but <laughs> I love it. <laughs> And you could pop this up with some foam tape, but I'm just going to use that same liquid glue and keep everything fairly flat. And then, yeah, that'll be that. You could add embellishments too, but that background just says it all, folks. And that's going to finish off our card for today. So if you liked this video, I would appreciate a like. And um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.